Hey guys, Adam with Blue Line Flies here. Uh, coming at you with another episode from our Instagram where uh, we asked folks what different flies they wanted to see tied. Uh, so we did get quite a few responses for some largemouth flies. Um, and I just wanted to kind of review that a little bit with you and uh, tie a fly for you on that. So where we're from, largemouth and smallmouth flies are not going to be too... Now, the type of water you're going to be throwing the fly in is going to determine whether it's going to be targeting largemouth or smallmouth. My smallmouth box and or my largemouth box is no different. Um, it's really more whether you're fishing moving water or still water. So like a lake, golf horse pond, uh, for most mostly more for largemouth, or smallmouth where you might be fishing them more of a river. Uh, at least that is how it is uh, where we're from. That doesn't mean that's... <laughs> true for the rest of the country. Uh, of course, we do have uh, smallmouth in some of our reservoirs that we fish, and uh, that's, that's of course, fun, too. Uh, so I just wanted to tie one of my absolute favorite still water patterns. Again, uh, still water just referring to a lake or a pond, a golf course pond, uh, you know, neighborhood pond, whatever you have. So this is a Clouser minnow variant uh, that I came up with a long time ago, but uh, it provides a lot more action in still water than the original Clouser minnow does. So wanted to uh, tie that for you guys today. Just start by getting some thread on the hook there. This is a size 2 Gamakatsu B10S. We're going to use some fluorescent yellow. One of my if I was going to be targeting largemouth, this is absolutely one of the first flies that I would tie on. So we're just going to pick out a piece here. Let's go ahead and tie that in. There we go. Now we're going to add a little bit of flash. So the Marabou addition here in this Clouser is going to allow it to flow a whole lot more. The original Clouser minnow was designed to be fished in rivers and streams where it's got uh, current pushing on it as well. So just having that extra flow and movement in here really helps it out in uh, fishing a lake or pond. So I've got some Pearl Flashabou. I'm just going to tie some in on either side. Pull that back. I'll just trim it off just a little bit behind the tail. Got our flash index. I'm just going to wrap all the way to the eyes. So remember on a clouser, you don't want your eyes to be too close to this hook eye or else you're going to end up crowding it. So you want your eyes to be placed just a little further back. Uh, again, we are going to place our eyes on the top of the hook so that it's going to float hook point up. So we're just going to add again, just a dot of super glue there. I have some pseudo eyes and these are absolutely my favorite dumbbell eyes so next step is bucktail I'm doing this in all white so I've got some white bucktail here trim out our pieces I like to do the bottom first. So we're gonna lay that in, measure it out. Make sure it's roughly about the same length as the uh, flat, the marabou back here. I like to spin my thread to the right. That's going to ensure that I have um, kind of a more narrow thread. It's going to grip really well on this bucktail. So I'm going to go just right in front of the eyes first. 
those fibers are probably going to want to spin on you. If you just place a lot of pressure right here in between the eyes, it'll keep that from spinning. Then we're just going to come straight back behind the eyes. Get a couple of good thread wraps right there. Kind of come back in front, make a few more, and just kind of tie that down here and start trimming. This is going to be a little bit of a rough trim. I'm going to end up trimming the whole thing once I tie in the other, the uh, top. Now I'm going to take just a couple more pieces of this flashaboo here, trim that to the same length as the first flashaboo. And we're back to our white bucktail. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys my philosophy on purchasing bucktail. It's that whenever I see a good one, I buy it. So every shop I ever go into, I go look at their bucktail and their body hair, their deer body hair, for spinning heads. And uh, if they have pieces that look good, I buy them. Because I really don't like ordering that stuff online. Um, I also tie a lot of flies, but... It uh, makes it really, really convenient to already have a couple of good pieces at home. Uh, highly recommend that you start doing that anytime, anytime you're in a shop. Just go check out their tying section. Whether you need some more or not, just go ahead and buy some good looking bucktail if they've got it. So I've got our next piece. So this is of course going to be for the back. Now we're just going to tie this in just in front of the eyes, so I'm going to lay it on there to kind of get the hook to split it in half. Measure it out so that it's roughly the same, roughly the same length or just a little longer than the first piece that you tied in. Going to spin my thread to the right to make sure I can grip this stuff. Try to make your first wrap as close to those eyes as you can. Go ahead and pull down on that. Again, it will want to spin, so if you hold it back here, it'll keep it from spinning on you. Get a couple good thread wraps there. Now we're going to come in and trim this out. To me, uh, if you fish warm water, I think the first fly, one of the first flies you should learn how to tie is a clouser. I don't fish very many woolly boogers for uh, bass, but the clouser minnow is always a go-to. Especially this one if you're fishing on a, you know, like I said, any sort of golf course pond or neighborhood pond, lake, anything where there's not moving water, this fly it, I, I, I have a lot of confidence in this one. Now I'm going to spin my thread to the left. That's going to flatten it out. That's going to help me build a flatter surface for this front to cover up these bucktail. So if you do that correctly, it's going to taper for you right there. Now you can go ahead and whip finish that. I'm just going to take a dot of uh, 
my glue here, brushing on those thread wraps. I don't know why I got in the habit of doing this, but I do. I also take my brush here, a little more glue. I'm going to put a brush wrap just right here. It's back at the back there, and then just a little bit on that head. There we have it guys, this is one of our bass flies for large mouth or small mouth, uh, mostly used for still water. Uh, it is available on our website called the Marabou Clouser. Uh, also does have some salt water application if you tied it a little larger, uh, certainly have done well with the salt or uh, maybe a couple different colors. Obviously the chartreuse is uh, chartreuse and white is one of my absolute hands down go-to confidence patterns for bass. Uh, we do have the weights down here, so it is going to ride with this hook point up. Fly doesn't have a ton of weight to it. You're going to be able to throw this on a four or five weight weight rod. Uh, we mostly fish a lot of five to sevens, uh, and especially if I was fishing this on a, on a lake, I'd probably be using a sink tip as well, depending upon how deep it was. There we go, guys. We really appreciate everyone that tuned into that Instagram thing and uh, submitted some requests and some ideas. Really appreciate that, uh, getting some feedback from y'all. Uh, please let us, please keep that coming. Let us know what else you want to see on this page. Uh, we're, you know, <laughs> just just trying to make sure that we're producing stuff that uh, content that people like and want to watch. So, if you haven't already, go give us a follow on Instagram, uh, like, and uh, make sure you're, you make some comments in there so we know uh, kind of what you want to see want to keep producing these videos uh, with some content that y'all are interested in. Uh, also, if you haven't been to our YouTube page, go check that out. We're uh, starting to build up uh, so a catalog of some tying videos. Um, and I'm going to start coming out with a lot of fishing videos this, uh, this summer. So, hope to see you guys on the water, and uh, thanks for tuning in.